In this video, I'm going to be comparing Uscreen to Odium. So what is Uscreen? It is a video on demand platform so you can grow your streaming business. What is Odium? You're able to launch your own subscription video service. So you're going to be able to have video on demand and launch it on Odium as well. So what are the key differences? Who would use these different platforms? So Uscreen, number one, you can have it as an all in one platform. So you can stream on demand, you can start having your own app, send it to having it as a Roku channel, Fire TV, all of those things, all from one place. So you can have that done for you. Now, what about Odium? Well, Odium is uh, pretty similar, but there are key differences when we're looking at this. Number one, when I'm looking at Odium, again, you can upload it and do all those things, but Odium allows you to start the plan for free. Yes, you can start on this for free, but now it comes to prices and what are we looking at? So for the pricing, let's get right down to it. U Screen starts at $49 a month, 50 cents per subscriber, just to get started. Now you'll have your website, marketing tools, automations. You can sell on your own terms. So again, if you're going to decide your subscription fees, you can decide that. You can decide on all of that stuff and you get the bandwidth and storage. On Odium, you have unlimited bandwidth, $4 per hour of stored video. Your first hour of stored video is free. So remember, you're getting charged per, per hour. So it depends on how many videos you have, how big is the library, all those things. You don't have to worry about that with Uscreen. So we can launch this, by the way, we can launch this up for, uh, for free. Let's see what we get. We are the first in the industry to offer a free plan for a startup uh, producers with Moxie. The growth plan gets you the complete Odium package with no upfront investment in tiered subscription fees that decreases as your traffic grows. So for the free plan, it would be, let's see about this. So it depends. I'm really going to depend on, does it come with your app? That's something to look at. We'll get into that in one second. So it's $4 per hour, no annual license fee. 10% revenue share. So right here, no rev share. So if you're charging $15 a subscription per month, they're not looking at the top. They're just charging you for a subscriber. Odium and Odium's model of the revenue share would be similar to special. Special is free as well. We did another video about them, but theirs is 10% revenue share. So again, that's the difference. Odium is, is the same 10% revenue share, but they're also charging you $4 per month of stored video. Your first hour is stored for free. So they give you one hour free to kind of get started. Depends on the content, depends on the type of episodes. So it could be multiple episodes, but again, they're only giving you an hour free. Now the tiered subscriber fees, 250 per subscriber for your first 100 subscribers. So they're taking uh, a cut. So again, you would have to think about how much are you charging per subscriber. So again, there's quite a bit right here. Then you have to deal with transaction fees. Now again, they're starting allowing you to start for free and do these things, but they're taking a substantial amount off the top to make it worth it. Now again, unlimited bandwidth, that's good. So they're saying, again, it will still be premium you know, quality with the bandwidth, but they're still charging you quite a bit for the hours. So what would be the difference here? Okay, for the pro plan, you're looking at, okay, so you're still doing $4, $4 per hour. There's a 10K annual fee, no revenue share. It's $1 per subscriber. So it's still 50 cents more than Uscreen. You still have the transactions, you know, that's transactions just like if you're using Stripe or anything like that. But what you're also getting with this is the premium app that you can have. So the app will allow you to have quite a bit of control and you can distribute it so that your app is totally white labeled, right? So it's, it's their, it is their technology, but you're submitting it to the app store under your publisher account. And so it is totally branded it would be white labeled and then you have all of these things. So it allows you to have 
yeah it allows you to have a really good experience but you can look at the upfront costs if you decide to go with the growth plan they are still taking quite a bit or you're doing an all-in at least of the 10k annual license fee or 1k a month and then going from there so it will probably still be again it would depend on your enterprise package and what you're looking at it depends on what you're doing but instead of paying several hundred dollars more a month if you're going to be going white labeled and get your mobile app they're kind of upfront charging you more and giving you access to those things now this comes down to exactly what you're trying to do and where you are in your business so the first question I'd have is, are you already having paying subscribers or ones on a waiting list to want access to your content? If so, then you can decide which one would be in your pricing budget. Now here, again, if you're going to be going and you're thinking long term and you're like, well, I want the app and everything like that, it might be something to consider to start on the free plan with Odium and then scale up when you're making more money to have flat fees and you already have that app and you already, again, you know your all-in number. With Uscreen, you're gonna have to weigh the cost how much all of this is as well. If you need the white labeled TV OTT apps, all of those things, um, think about it. And, and it, again, it says everything with Amplify plus the mobile apps plus the TV over the top apps. Well, the over the top apps are already included in here so again i would really depend on all in numbers what's going on now i'm going to just say it for me if i'm looking at this and i'm trying to decide what i'm going to do and i want to scale and i want to have my own app one day or think about that i would probably go with odium although it is quite a bit that they're taking up front i can grow with this plan end up on pro and still not migrate my clients or my users later on if I'm going to be, if I see how much I'm going to be paying, it depends on enterprise, if you need things in enterprise or amplify, or do you need live streaming? So it, again, it kind of depends on where you're going to be scaling with your business. Now, if I'm going to just try this out and you're saying, well, I don't want to pay for even the hourly rate to start with i want to see if anyone cares and i have more than one hour and i don't want to pay anything well then you would go on special but special again special is not going to give you your own domain you're still on another platform for the discoverability so again you've got to weigh it so there are a lot of different aspects to think about what platform is great for you where do you want to go what i would suggest you to do is write down your goals and where you want to go what kind of user experience you want and also this is the this is the kicker talk to your audience and ask are they willing to pay and what are they looking to have a lot of times we've worked with different brands where they have actually just created a roku channel to see validation then they were looking to raise money and then being investing on one of these platforms instead instead of trying to go all in and do everything at once how can you validate if your audience wants your content they're ready to pay be subscribers and then go from there that allows you to make better strategic decisions and also too depending on how much you have in backing as well so these are the decisions if you're just getting started if you already have an audience you're already they're already paying you for a subscription on another platform such as youtube patreon or something like that now you're bringing them over to a streaming platform look at the main features that you're trying to go in longevity where are you trying to go in one year three years and five years and then that allows you to pick a platform that works for you again if you have any questions, put them in the comment section down, section down below. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.